Hey guys, Paul from Paul's Body Engineering here. Um, today I wanted to discuss a new trend, a new fad that I, I, I saw the other day um, when driving and I wanted to investigate it, research it and then deliver it to you guys in regards to what it actually contains. And this is Subway's new Fit Chips. Now, the name would suggest that it's a healthier option. It's a more nutritional, beneficial option um, and it's a, a fit option as they call it. So, what I wanted to dissect is whether or not it is actually just a clever marketing campaign and clever naming, or it actually lives up to what it says. So I've done a comparison on my trusty whiteboard here between the Fit Chips, Macca's Chips, and Red Rooster Chips. Now these are three common ones, obviously that's the one under review. Macca's and, and Red Rooster are very common. The other ones you can look at are KFC, um, Hungry Jacks, etc. But I think this gives us a, a good broad spectrum in terms of what we're trying to achieve today. So, we look at a large from each, and I've broken down the macros. Um, so the Fit Chips, so a large Fit Chips is 92.4 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein, and 19.8 grams of fat. That's a lot of food, totaling 587.8 calories. Now, remember, the average daily intake, give or take, depending on the individual, is around that 2,000 mark. I've got that written at the bottom there. So that's a big chunk of your day. Maccas, the large chips at Maccas. Now remember, the large size is a bit subjective depending on um, the person serving it, how many chips they put in each one, you know, more or less, etc. So, but I think this gives us, again, a good broad spectrum. The large Maccas chips, 41.7 grams of carbs, 5.8 grams of protein, and 18.5 grams of fat, totaling 356.5 calories. Now, significantly lower than the Fit Chips already. Now we move to Red Rooster. Um, everyone lo loves a good red rooster chip. 66.2 grams of carbs, 7.4 grams of protein, and a whopping 20.3 grams of fat, totaling 477.1 calories. So as you can see, just by dissecting the three options here, the three examples, the Fit Chips is actually the heaviest in terms of overall calories. And that's because of the high carb content and obviously the high fat content. Protein not playing so much of a role, primarily because it's a potato based product. Um, so look, I think from this example, you don't, you shouldn't always believe what you read. While it says Fit Chip, um, it's not. It's a clever marketing campaign released by Subway and, and the Fit Chip brand to entice you to think that you're buying something healthier than it actually is. And when you compare against three other um, big players on the market, you can see that it fails miserably in terms of what it's trying to advertise itself to be. So look, I guess the take home message from this is, don't always believe what you read, do your research, know your food, understand your food, know the nutritional content of food. Now I'm not endorsing that you go with any of these options, obviously McDonald's is the lowest, but it's good to know that sometimes when you read something on a packet or something marketed on TV or on the radio or whatever, it doesn't always live up to the hype. So perfect example, fit chips available at Subway, it's a no go. That's it from me guys, have a great day. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube and as always, keep smiling.